Thank you for joining me on I Am Maggie Love channel. And I am Maggie Love. And I'm so grateful you're joining me here because we are on the path to our best life. So, we are going through the magic of everyday life with Maria Zepes, Slow Crawl, wonderful book, seeing what sticks that might be helpful to us on our path, our journey, whatever the word you want to use. And it might just be helpful for you to help others as well. Pick up a pearl here and there, tool here and there. When you do get a chance, please hit subscribe and like, and I would love to hear your positive comments. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I do really appreciate your likes and your subs. So please hit the like button and hit the sub button. Um, I appreciate it and it is my goal to get to a thousand subscribers and to get up to YouTube's like 40 something, 4,000 hours. But please hit the like button. It does help with helping me to know what I'm doing is helping you. And I guess it helps with the algorithm too. So we are, and it might help someone else find this channel, that, and this might be helpful. So we are in chapter 11, Overcoming Anxiety. We're about to wrap this bad boy up. Here we go. The insignificant subordinate, the little clerk wounded in his self-esteem, the maid suffering from the cloaked nature and truth of our character and brunt of our nerves, whom we did not appreciate enough to be mindful of the effects of our behavior has on them, but allowed free reign to our nervousness in their presence, nervousness in quotes, in their presence, which is secretly rage, has already caused much tragedy, the collapse of a family, the loss of a job, imprisonment, and even suicide. So are you hearing this? The way that we treat people matters, you matter. If you are going out there spreading love, light, and the good principles, the higher order values, great. But if you are out there pushing out the death, destruction, and despair, and you're hurting other people, you are bringing much tragedy, collapse of the family, loss of job, imprisonment, and even suicide. And those have repercussions. God has a way of leveling out the field. So we are higher vibrational beings and we are going to act that way. Even if we are struggling with something, we're going to pray to God for help and the universe will come and help us. There are angels standing by, ask for help. There are people standing by, ask for help. And there's also channels standing by trying to do things to help everybody upgrade. So watch you know watch what you're putting in um, if you are on things that are just vampirizing your mind and there's no thinking no creativity you need to drop that and start increasing that creativity the better you feel about you the better all that you do goes into the world so if anxiety takes control let us think about the fact that the person opposite us is our life's secret agent our judge or the strayer stayer of execution so think about that you know when i w worked in a pediatric icu there was a lot of um, children who passed and i w did a lot of hospice i did a lot of end of life care and one thing i just love my patients and one thing i always thought about was how excited i would feel when i finally do um, celestially discharge and transfer into my new form how glad and how joyful I will be to see them again because I really love the patients that I took care of and the staff members and things and this kind of just brings it to mind like when I transcend to the other side I have so many blessings like so many giftings favorings coming for me and this also has the reverse effect we want to remember that that person in our like you might not like somebody, but remember they're 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 your life secret agent, and they may be your judge one day because we are fractals of God. God is in us, so how we judge others is how we'll be judged. So just as they also may be our stare of execution, execution, the person who decides. There's a beautiful story in the Bible, and I believe it's Lazarus who is begging and begging. Um, 
for something to eat and he even is with the with from the rich guy and then you know um he won't give him anything and he passes on and he's with the dogs i mean like he's really just horrible to him he passes over and goes into the kingdom of heaven and that rich man passes over and he is in hell and there's a large chasm between them and he keeps begging like please help me please help me just touch your finger with you know some water it's so dry it's so scorching here and i i just want a taste of water and lazarus cannot i believe that's his name cannot come across the chasm nor can anyone else so i'm not trying to instill the fear of you know chasms and hell realms and things but what i am saying is that what we do put out comes back to us and the very person that we might be being horrible to may be our judge may be the state of our execution or may be the one that reaches down from heaven to quench us with the light and the love and the rivers and living water of god so we are tested through them their irritating presence represents an important trial in the mystery of our faith. Every time we are able to soften and dissolve the tension of an enraged anxiety attack through the valve of reason, we access tremendous power. So you see that if you make the effort to change, eventually those pathways in the brain are going to die off and slowly by slowly those behaviors will not be there. Not, not just brain, mental physical emotional you just your body is going to calibrate to a whole new energy field so their irritating presence represents an important trial in the mystery of our faith every time we are able to soften so soften dissolve the tension of an enraged anxiety attack through the valve release of reason we access tremendous power wouldn't you love to have that type of power that's compassionate, fair, it's able to like heal the, the multitude? And I just want you to also think about, you know, put in the comments when you can, ways that you are going to be softening and dissolving tension within yourself. Okay, our self-control is a gaining muscle. And every success casts the foundation for newer successes. So, right? Neurons of fire together, wired together. If we're trying to change a habit or a behavior, there is a period in the spectrum where we're going to be recalibrating to eventually move from this to that. Uh, Richard Grannon's work, again, is very good at talking about how to break bad habits. And that, feed, you know, that feedback loop and we want to turn it from negative to positive. And if we do that, we will experience newer successes with every time. Because to me, this spiritual work, this emotional work, this mental work, it's like a spiritual CrossFit. And you know, in the beginning when you hit the gym, you can barely do a push up. But by the time you're done, you're all over the place doing all kinds of things. It's the same thing with spiritual, you can't give up. The body, we can see the changes. Sometimes in the spirit, it's it's a hard work. It can take a while. It can be instant or it can take a while. You cannot be discouraged. Whatever your process is, just do it. Trust and believe that the upgrade's coming. It is important never to let our instincts escape from our control. Practicing self-control is only difficult at the beginning. Later, it becomes a habit. Okay, so take that to heart. It is important never to let our instincts escape from our control. Self-control is a thought command given to ourselves that stems from moral conviction. And I'm not talking about these dogmatic types of our higher value, order values, right? And it's common sense. It really is. A person's stature is determined by the quantity and quality of moral dams. Okay? And these dams are barrage dams, gigantic elevators of the power of the spirit. Okay, so we are going to be gigantic elevators of the power of the spirit, right? 
We're going to be doing that work. And those dams are not just like band-aids on an abscess. They're things that we put in place by choice because we are going to be our best person. We are going to be living in our higher order values. Okay. Okie dokie. Transform. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate this time. I would love to hear in the comments what you took away, what might be helpful for you, what might be helpful for you helping others, what kind of transformation is going on in your life. I would love to hear. When you do get a chance, please hit subscribe and like, and I'd love to hear your positive comments, and I hope you are realizing you are magical. You are the magic of everyday life. You are also miracles. So I'm hoping you're feeling it more within, and then you will start seeing it more outside. So thank you so much. And may God's favor be upon you. All right. And you know what comes next? Peace in. Peace